Hello, this is part 3 SQL form. In this video, I'm going to show how to make a SQL form where you can enter SQL and you can run SQL queries like this. And you can also run other SQL commands like to create the table and to drop the table and so forth. If you select databases, this will show your databases. This is the sample database that I created in the last video. If you go to my files, these files will be created for you if you create the sample database. And if you edit the web.config file, this is the connection string. And this is the actual connection string. This is the provider name, and this is the provider name here. You're going to need these later on in the demo. Go to My Files. Under Create Directory, enter Test and press Create Directory. And then click the Test Directory. Under Create File, enter web.config and press Create File. Under Create File, enter sql.aspx and Create File. Edit web.config. Enter this code. And when you're done, save changes and go back to my files. Edit sql.aspx. You need to enter this code. This will be kind of hard to type in this code. Normally, you would use say HTML editor, but I'm not using an editor here because for some people that don't have an editor, this will get you up and running real quick. And later you can use an editor if you want. This is the connection string. You're going to replace this with your own connection string later. When you're done, save changes. Edit sql.aspx. You want to replace the connection string with your connection string. And you put that here. This at character will escape any strange characters like this that would otherwise cause an error and the provider name will remain the same so you don't have to change that that stays the same and go back to my files to test you want to open this link in a new tab and then click on sql.aspx and then run the default command Select the version. This will show the version of the database. So this worked correctly. It says well done. Now put in a command that you know will generate an error. And run that. And 
that generated an error. So it shows you the code that was the problem here. And it gives you the exception here. This command will show you the databases. This is the database that you created and these are the system databases. This command will show you the tables in the database that you're currently using. So there's only one table. This command will show you all the rows in the table people. 